And Jen, this really is some great news for those businesses. The easing of restrictions happening in two phases. The first comes May 1st, then restrictions will be done away with after May 19th. It's a move more than a year in the making and what some call a light at the end of the tunnel for the businesses hit hard by the pandemic. Governor Lamont announcing that come next month, business restrictions will be relaxed. Starting May 1st, the curfew for businesses will move from 11 p.m. to 12 midnight. All outdoor restrictions will be lifted. You can have alcohol outside without ordering food. And there will be no table size limit, which was previously set at eight people per table. Governor Lamont hoping people are still responsible responsible as they go out. You know, continue to be cautious with the mask. Obviously, if you're having a cool frosty, um, you don't have to wear a mask. If you're able to socially distance, you don't have to wear a mask outside. But um, otherwise, uh, stay cautious on that. Then May 19th, Connecticut will lift its business restrictions. The 12 a.m. curfew will lift. DPH will issue recommendations for indoor and outdoor events, but they will not be required. Indoor bars can reopen and tables can be spaced at the discretion of the business. There are no gatherings size limits. Governor Lamont says the one thing that will remain are masks, at least at first. He says the state will mandate wearing masks in crowded public places for a bit longer. We still um, strongly recommend uh, wearing the mask inside unless you've been vaccinated. We'll find some balance there that makes pretty good sense. It's kind of a breath of fresh air for our restaurants. They've been going through so much for 13 months. Scott Dolch, executive director of the Connecticut Restaurant Association, says he hopes the relaxing of rules will help revive the economy in the next few months, especially with the popularity of outdoor dining and the reopening of wedding venues ahead of the busy summer season. He says getting back to business will be consumer confidence driven and restaurants will be keeping that in mind as they navigate their own businesses. The safety of our customers and the safety of our employees has still always been our number one priority, even at the beginning of the heart of this pandemic. And I think you won't see that change. I've already, you know, as I've talked to restaurants about their plexiglass or full glass barriers, that they, they're going to keep that for years. They put it in kind of because it's about consumer confidence, about you wanting to feel safe. Governor Lamont does stress that all of this is subject to the numbers, seeing the COVID infections and hospitalizations decreasing and vaccination rates increasing. Ben.